Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be episode one of my multi fruit series, is what I'm going to call it, I think. Uh, but yeah, the reason it's a multi fruit series, we're on Valley View Farm here. Um, down here we have carrots, coffee, onions, millet, mustard, sorghum, tomato, rye, rice, lettuce, cabbage. Cabbage, we have cabbage, there's red and green cabbage, grapes, olives, and almonds. So many different crop types. The goal of this series is to, ha one, have fun, two, make money, three, grow as many of these different crop types as possible. That's the plan. So we are on here, and I've never done a series like this, and again, this is just kind of like my last, my last hoorah before Farm Sim 22 comes out. I don't know if this will go into Farm Sim 22. I don't know. I don't know any of the answers to any of those questions, but I am excited to play on this map. I have wanted to play on this map since it came out. I did have a rough time choosing between this map and um, a map like another one I was looking at was like Shamburg Valley uh, and Canterbury Inter Inf Infinite is another one that uh, Jason actually pointed out to me was it would have been really good actually as well to play on. Those ones would have been more focused on production. I elected, even though the poll, which actually, I mean, I haven't even looked at the poll recently um, and I'm... I can't even imagine what it's, let me, let me, I'm just super curious what the poll is at right now. I'm checking it right now. It's 50-50 for a factory income only series and a multi-fruit map series. So it's 50-50, which is wild. So I decided to do this. And the reason being, um, we might even add some factories in. Probably not, but we could potentially add some factories in here if we really want to. Uh, the reason I decided to do multi-fruit uh, is because, well, in Farm Sim 22, productions and factories are kind of part of the new game so i can do i think pretty early on i can do a production only series or a factory income only series on there and i think that'll just be a better fit and i i know a few people pointed that out to me some people said do both you know there's all sorts of different options um, which chamberg valley kind of would have been a little bit of both because there's some other crop op options on there not as much as this map but yeah so again i know that uh, different crops aren't really that exciting they're just different textures and stuff like that but still it just seems fun to have those different crops and grow those different crops. So uh, we're here, farm manager mode. I've never done a series with you guys with farm manager mode. Um, this is where the normally, the if we look at the map on here, this is where the new farmer farm would be set up. So this is where it would normally all be sitting is right over here in this, this chunk of land right here. So I don't know if we're going to buy this land or not. I don't honestly know. The other option is we could build a farm down here. I don't think we're ready for that yet. Yeah, I don't think we're ready for that yet. Now, what we actually are going to do... We're gonna go into flight mode and we are gonna fly around and try to decide where we wanna start off here. So we have this whole area up here. Up here, the nice part about it is uh, the fields are fairly, the sugar beets, nice, I like it. What is this over here? Sorghum, I love, there's so many cool crop stuff going on. What is this one? Mustard, nothing, <laughs> potatoes actually, but uh, yeah. So there's lots of uh, easier to start with fields up here. But then I feel like if we expand out from up here, we're kind of locked up here, which I want to get access to these big... I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of fields up here, so it doesn't really matter that much. And we could also... I mean, again, we could also build our own farm out here. And I might let you guys kind of help guide that if you guys think. I do often build farms, my own farms in series and stuff like that, and I can do that again. Don't have any issues with that. Uh, that would take a little bit more time, so I'd almost maybe prefer not to do it, but I don't, I don't care too much. Now this, what I don't like about this is how... I was thinking about putting a farm down here, but look at the shape of this land. It's like horrendously shaped. So I think what we'll probably end up doing is... This is the store over here, so this is just going to be complex at times to get stuff out of here. Especially big stuff. This is going to be tricky. We have a store delivery mod installed uh, in case we need to use that. But yeah, so maybe we might actually, we might actually grab this chunk of land. We maybe don't even have to grab this chunk of land yet. We always can just start off with some fields. So let's take a look at some prices here. Um, so yeah, we don't need to buy it. It's 198,000. It's gonna burn through our cash pretty quick. We could get several small fields in this area. We could even do like, how much is all that peripheral? Let's just buy that because it's $0. Just so if we end up running up against it a little bit, it's not gonna matter too much. Uh, so 174, 203. We could look at some land there. I think those might be some good options. Maybe four and five would be good ones. Now, as far as crop types go, let's see as far as... I haven't looked into any of these. These guys are going to do... Obviously, he's going to do uh, almonds, grapes. We could we could run... I mean, we might just dive... I mean, that's not too expensive. Maybe we just dive right into doing some, like, grapes, coffee, olives, almonds. 
Maybe we dive right into that. The other thing I thought about is diving right into root crops, but I think that's a cheaper route is to go this way. So maybe we'll go that route. So if we think 98,000 for that, now we also could pay off the $250,000 loan we have, which actually would probably be a smart idea. So maybe we'll do that actually. Uh, Cause if you don't know about farm manager, it starts with 1.25 million, technically only a million. So we're gonna pay this off. Now we just don't have to worry about it. We have a million bucks. So I think we get a couple of different, like maybe a coffee and almond orchard going, or maybe coffee and grapes. You know, we could do grapes right off the bat, or maybe just double coffee, but I don't care. We could do something like that uh, right in this area here. Uh, we don't have seasons on or anything like that, um, which is, is fine. But yeah, so okay, what about planting those crops there? Um, planting, planting, planting. Planting, and then every trailer gonna hold these crops? Um, yeah, it looks like it. So just bulk trailers would be fine. Uh, the DRL is gonna hold, oh, it's cool, it's just gonna hold those specific. We might actually get that just for, just for the sake of being cool. Only holds 14,000 liters. Maybe we won't get it. I've never used it. I'm not really that interested in it, to be honest. But yeah, okay. Well, actually, we might just because it's cheaper. Um, these guys, are these guys going to hold everything? No, they're just new grain style crops, which makes sense. The Trans 70, that might be a good trailer option. Uh, but let's see. So do you, we plant these? We plant these guys? Grapes. We need to find one. Oh, that does it right there. That does it too, though. Grapes. It looks like these guys also do it. We need to find one that actually lets me, there we go. This actually lets me see everything. Grapes, olives, almonds, coffee. So we could go that route and get a planter. Buy pallets of saplings. Because do we, yeah. So you know what? For the sake of it, let's do it this way. Because that's kind of how you're like allegedly supposed to do it. Let's do it this way. We'll buy these guys instead of use seeds and we'll use the legit planter that you're supposed to use for it. So if we buy this guy, we're going to go this route. We'll see how much the equipment costs. So we're going to buy that. We also need the harvester. Um, oh, oh, wow. We probably should get the a bigger engine to be fair. I mean, it's probably worth the extra 25 grand. So let's buy that. Okay, fantastic. I know a lot of just set up. I know it's, it's the first episode of the series. I mean, what are you going to do? This is what you got, so... Uh, we're gonna need a tractor. That's ooh, that's gonna be a, actually probably a pricier thing to look into. We don't need. I mean, I'm tempted to, to go with my classic the case here, but yeah, maybe we go with. Uh... I've never ran the Steyr. I got three thirteen. Three thirteen would be plenty for us. Let's go ahead and do this. We don't need any crazy wheels. I would say wides would be kind of nice. Wides and weights would actually probably be really nice. So we'll do that. Let's buy that guy. I know a little bit, a little bit pricey, but we're good. Okay, we got that set up. Now we are going to need, okay, field wise, I know we're gonna buy fields last, but I think we try to go for 10, nine, two. Shops right there. These are both easy to get to. Yeah, maybe we start with, I think field nine. We'll start with that. So if we look in the map now, it's gonna need lime. It's double fertilized, which is nice. Oh, and actually that's another thing to, to work on as well. Maybe we'll keep, uh, we'll keep that normal. Plant withering off, crop destruction off. We'll put it off for that. We'll leave periodic plowing and lime on. We'll leave weeds, we'll turn that off. We'll leave weeds off just so I don't have to deal with it. Uh, Cause this is more just to be relaxing, have fun. Now we might do some contract work as well. Um, so we potentially could look into doing some contract work to make a little extra money. I don't want to make a ton of money doing contracts cause that's not the purpose here, but we are gonna need to do lime on that field. So um, we're gonna need, we're gonna need something that's gonna be able to do lime for us as well. The eco, such a good, Geo spreads like my go-to for fertilizing and liming, or not for just fertilizing at least, because you can't lime with it. Um, but we could use something that can lime and fertilize. Maybe we'll lease a lime spreader to do lime on it, and then we can buy that. So maybe we'll do that. We will customize. We will. Honestly, that adds a leasing cost. That adds a little bit. We don't probably. Actually, that's. 
the extension's worth adding the extra. That doesn't add too much to the working width. It'll make it a little faster. It's not too much more. We'll lease that. And then that will give us the ability to be able to go run some lime up there. So if we do that, where is the lime point on this map? Oh, boy. Newer farm supply. Oh, I bet you it's over at the farm supply. So we could run up there. Let's hop. Let's hop down to the shop. Let's get out of this flight mode here. Leave that on there. And we'll plummet to earth. So we just bought field nine, which is right over here. And we can keep our stuff on this field for now around it because we kind of I know that technically this area isn't part of field nine, but I mean, to be a fair, that looks like that should all be kind of part of it. So I think we can park our stuff there. Now we do have potatoes growing here, but we're going to plow those under. Deal with that, which we are going to have to. We are going to have to deal with that. So we probably actually want to buy a plow at some point as well, but let's hop down to the shop. Starting to get our, our equipment going and stuff like that. Let's grab this guy. Now, I don't know, actually, I'm, I'm curious. This doesn't direct drill. Well, we don't, we don't really know, I guess, but I don't think it's going to direct drill. But we should be able to, oh, how do we get down there? It's a great question. Because that doesn't count. We got to go down around down there. Yeah, we got to go left here, work our way down. I'm, I'm assuming we'll be able to go down there and get some lime and go from there. What is that point right there? That's oh, water supply. Okay. I'll make sure I'm not missing anything. It's got to be at the farm supply, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, we'll loop down around here. I'll head down. Um, go down and get some lime here. I'm assuming they'll probably also have fertilizer there, but we're not going to worry about getting fertilizer uh, yet. We might even just buy pallets of it. We're going to have 389,000, so we got to be careful as well with our money. I know we're, we're spending a lot, but we're going to make it back, hopefully. I don't know what side of the road anyone drives. It looks like uh, their left side of the road is here. Yep, we're going to be in this guy's way. There we go. Go around that. Yeah, we'll see how I like the Steyr. I haven't uh, really run it as a tractor before. Oh, geez. As a tractor before. But uh, that's kind of why I want to use it. So we can get using some other equipment and stuff like that. Yeah, once we start doing some grain crops and stuff like that, we can start using some of this stuff down here. I do have disabled vehicle camera installed, I believe. So it shouldn't be doing crazy stuff that it seems like it's doing. Oh, this isn't where I want to go. I thought this is all going to be connected up. But I was definitely wrong about that. Loop around, around here. Oh, I guess it kind of is. Well, we could probably get around the back here. This is maybe not what you're supposed to do, but when have we been all about doing what we're supposed to do on this channel? I think we should have, yeah, turned a little bit later for sure. All right, farm supply. Not this one, but it's one of these guys. I think one is a sell point actually as well. We sell, we buy. They got a lot of stuff listed, so there we go. We'll get loaded up with lime. Yeah, they sell solid fertilizer, seeds, lime, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, manure, and liquid manure. And you can sell stuff back here if you want to do that as well. But yeah, we'll get this, uh, we'll get this, I'll take this taken up there and I will probably put a, uh, maybe what I'll do is just put a quick time lapse of me driving up there and getting that field lime just to kind of have something a little bit different. So yeah, I'll see you guys here in just a minute. What you putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain Who will pick you up When you've lost everything Does it all become for granted With a wedding So we got that limed and taken care of. Let's get this unloaded here. I think we'll just put it over here. It'll be fine. There we go. Way over there. Uh, store. 
garage. We can go to least items. We can return this. Beautiful. Okay, got rid of that. So I think we'll probably, I thought about this. I think what we'll do is we're gonna buy this and we're just gonna plow under those uh, potatoes there. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and just go for that. Purchase that. We're gonna go pick that up down at the store. Um, yeah, what I'm gonna do, go pick that up. I'll probably pick up the planter as well. I think for our first crop, just to do something, I mean, I think I would do, I might do coffee. Gosh, should I do coffee first? I don't know. I'm back and forth. Maybe we'll just do olives. Just to, just to go for it. Yeah, we'll just do olives. And we don't need 10. Let's just buy one and see how that does for us. Uh, so buy that. I will load up. I will load up our uh, setup and get all that good to go. See, so yeah, I'll grab that stuff, bring it back up here. I'll probably put in a little time lapse of uh, me getting the field plowed. I think maybe I don't know, throw that in there. We'll see. I'll see. I'll probably end up doing that just to yeah, have something a little bit different on there. But yeah, I'll go grab that stuff, bring it back up here, and I'll bring you guys back in after that. so we got that field plowed here good to go uh, we'll fold this up and set this off to the side now i did uh, you saw a little bit of a time lapse of at least part of that now i did do something here i sold off our if we go into planters i sold this off it would not accept the pallets of these it wouldn't let me use the easy development controls to fill it it would not work so we're gonna have to use a regular planter so I went with this guy because I've never, I don't think I've ever used him before, but we do have a planter here. I did buy us a front seed tank. So we have this setup, which actually before I hook up, one thing I think I'm gonna do actually, before we go to plant, I think we'll finish out the episode by planting. But before we do that, I think I wanna get rid of some of these trees. And I installed the uh, uh, Unreal Devourer to try to do this. So much money. Uh, we're just gonna lease it. We're not gonna buy it. Uh, so we're gonna lease that, and we are gonna buy ourselves a trailer. Um, I think we'll get so eighteen thousand. That's pretty good for that low price there. Eighteen thousand. If we can get eighteen thousand, wouldn't be bad for that. Is that a good starter trailer? Probably eighteen thousand is probably pretty good for a starter trailer there. Five thousand, fourteen thousand. Yeah, those ones are the next ones up, which aren't, those ones I can't believe they don't hold that much. They're huge for not holding that much, but anyhow. Uh, the Grimmy trailer, uh, multi-trailer from the Green Pack, oh, that actually holds everything. 19,000 for that one. I've never actually used that one, but only 19,000 again, so. Yeah, the Trans 70 is 30, I think actually we'll probably go with the Trans 70. That just kind of makes a little bit more sense. It's just a little bit bigger. Um... Yeah, we could do something different, like kind of a, hmm, a black. 
Um, we have styre equipment. Is there a styre color down here? I don't know. I guess it's kind of red and white. Ooh, I kind of like the stainless steel. We could go that route. Galvanized. No, I don't like that. Chrome steel. That looks almost a little too... I'll probably do that for... Beige, metal, gray, silver. No, I don't like that silver. Uh, yeah, I think maybe we'll just do not galvanize. What was the other one? Stainless steel black actually looks pretty cool, but let's do uh, stainless steel silver. I think we'll do, yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay. Yeah, we'll just run that. That'll be a good setup there. We'll buy that. Okay, we'll go grab that, and then hopefully we can get rid of... I'm not going to get rid of all the trees. I don't think I'll take out too many along the edges. But hopefully these trees are able to get out. If not, we can use the map objects hider, but I'm hoping this will take them out just fine for us. It's not too long of a drive down to the shop, so I'll keep you guys in for this. We'll drive down to the shop, pick that stuff up, get it back up here, and then we'll go from there, I think. Yeah, so that'll be the plan. All right. It's not too far of a drive. This is just a little bit of a tricky one to get in and out of if you have bigger equipment, I think. So it'll be definitely interesting to see how that goes as we progress. There's my little pallet of olive seeds that didn't work. All right, grab this. There we go. Okay. Fantastic. Hopefully this setup works pretty well for us. The pipe out on that. I've never used this, so we'll see if it works good for us on this map or not. And honestly, the Styre has been a pretty good little tank of a machine here. I mean, given it's a nice, big, large tractor, but still, it's been working really well for us, so I can't really complain too much. All right, and actually, what is the least cost per day for the Bower? So we might maybe hold on to it a little bit longer. Day is 12.50, so yeah, we actually might hold on to it a couple of days in case we buy another field. Well, I don't know, it just kind of depends, because we might end up getting our field here pretty quick. All right. Nice. Okay, well, that worked out pretty well. Now, do you have to do anything special with this? I have seen, I'm trying to think of what Mr. Silly P has done as far as getting this, uh, there we go, okay, gotta go off a little bit strangely to the side, there we go, there we go, we haven't put any in the trailer yet, actually probably can Can we get that? If we get a little closer, we'll go in there. There it goes. All right, there we go. So it is unloading into there. That's good. Just was being a little weird about it at first. All right, we'll get this guy out of the way. Fantastic. All right. Yeah, I like this little thing. This thing's pretty sweet. Some of these guys that are just kind of in the way a little bit. Because we can put a little bit of a farm set up here if we wanted to. Just a little temporary couple of buildings maybe just to park our equipment in. Just something that would seem kind of like you're supposed to do. There we go. Now get rid of like two or three more of these guys. And hopefully our uh, leasing costs are paid for mostly by our wood chip. Which probably won't be the case. But we'll see what we get. We'll get something from them. And then I'll get rid of this last one here. And then I think there's a couple at the other end that I want to get rid of. Okay, yeah, like these ones are on the edges. I don't mind too much. I think that one right there I'll actually get rid of because that one might be a little bit in the way. Let me put the pipe out. No, that, that folded it back up. All right, put the pipe back out. There we go.
Maybe. What does it say on here? Pipe in. Pipe's out right now, okay. There it goes, there it goes. Just doesn't like to pick up that trailer for whatever reason. All right, there we go. Fantastic. Got a lot of wood chips so far from doing this, which is just fine. There we go. And that's just go drive the far end here. Make sure it's like these ones aren't going to be in the way, so I'm not too bothered by these. I don't mind these guys here. They're far enough away from the field that's not going to cause any issues. I'm not going to, I could expand the field out and do that sort of thing. I don't think I need to, so I don't think I'm going to bother messing with that. But yeah, these ones down here at the very end drive me right a little over the edge. So we'll get these guys knocked out. There we go. And they probably won't mind if I take out this tree of theirs. <laughs> well, let's knock out this tree, because I'm sure I'll get it eventually anyways if I don't do it now. Now, these two fields we could potentially connect together. That wouldn't be too big of a deal there, but we'll probably still keep them separate. There we go. And then we'll hit this one right here. And actually, the sawmill's not too far away, so probably can run up and just sell off these uh, wood chips real quick. Yeah, Samuel's right up there, which they do take wood chips, I'm hoping. Yep, perfect. 447, not great, but hey, we'll go ahead and get these sold off. And then we'll start planting this, get this done here. Um, yeah, we'll probably get ready to wrap up at that point, I think. It'll be good at length for our first episode here, uh, getting us uh, started. And I know we didn't get a ton of stuff done, uh, but still, we got into it a little bit. We got uh, some of our farm established and things like that. So there it is. That's where it'll go into it. Perfect. That thing is probably full then. So 87, yep, 8700. There we go. Okay, well, we'll drive this up over to Sawmill and get this sold off. Then we'll come back down here, start planting. And I think I'll probably be planting and taking a screenshot of that to get us going, and we'll be good to go. And then maybe next episode we can get, uh, hopefully, get a. Uh, a little bit of a farm set up and get that going and hopefully we'll do a harvest of olives in the next episode because that'd be fantastic get some of those going start making some money again we still have a decent chunk of change i can't talk anymore decent chunk of change in the bank so uh we definitely still have some options there but yeah okay we'll see how much of the leasing cost is covered i think i probably will actually return it here we go put it all in there for us And making it. Actually, probably would have cost a. Probably would have uh, covered most of the leasing, if not all of it. Was it six, seven thousand? Yeah, Eleven, yeah, over. Yeah, cost or we made a little bit of profit off it, technically speaking. So there we go. That's pretty good to go. I think we can drive this back down here. I think we will get rid of it for now. We can always lease it again if we need it again. We might end up buying our own eventually, but uh, leased items. Yeah, we'll go ahead and return that. So, there we go. We got that returned. And a little bit of profit on that. We'll get this back over here, and then we'll hook up our setup for planting. Yeah, we got our nice little... Yeah, look at this. Much more open now. I like that. Disconnect that trailer there. Beautiful. I think this is already set to olives. Yep, there we go. I don't know what the planting texture is going to be. Is this already unfolded? Yeah, okay, everything should be good to go then. Yep, 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 yep. All right, we will go right here and hire a worker. Okay, just a plain old seeding texture there, but not too bad. It's not using a ton of seeds, which is kind of nice. So there we go, guys. That is going great for us. We're getting some olives planted, and we'll be good to go. So yeah, next episode, hopefully we'll have a harvest good to go. We'll be able to harvest some olives, which would be awesome. We'll start making some more cash. 
probably look at getting another field. I don't want to buy anything else too crazy yet until we make sure we got a steady cash flow coming in. Because um, we don't actually have a fertilizer spreader yet, which we're going to need to get that in order to make sure. Well, actually, this thing is already fully fertilized. So we don't have to worry about it for this harvest. But in the future, we're going to need to worry about that. So, uh, yeah. But anyhow, guys, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. And turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.